so if you hear anything in this recording that sounds like like a pencil rolling across the floor um that's okay i know what that is that is my cat getting great joy out of a container from a quarter machine so i don't have the heart to take it away from him and that's just how it is but anyways, guys, hi, welcome to the officially unofficial geek channel, Collected Edition Tuesdays. My name is Carrie Quinn, and I am here with this fun pop culture, heavy on the comics stuff for you today. I, let me tell you a little bit uh, about how I picked this Collected Edition, actually, um, and I'm actually going to low-key put some links in the bottom when I talk about all of this stuff here. So I watch a lot of YouTube videos and um, I have been in a lot of YouTube channel chats. And I actually watch this channel pretty weekly. It's called Comics Will Break Your Heart. They do something called Casually Comics on Sunday where... Jen and a woman named Mars get together and talk about comics and comic news. Um, and it happens every Sunday, uh, early afternoon. And so I've been watching this show and participating in the chats, you know, pretty regularly for a while now. And, um, I actually found out that Mars was going to be on another show, um, another channel called TM Nerdy. And basically it was one of these things is called, you know, uh, talking with the comic community. And I was watching this one day and Mars mentioned a series of comics in the video when she was talking on TM Nerdy's channel. Um, and I decided that's going to be my next collected edition. So I went looking for the book. Now, technically... How I ended up reading this was through DC Infinite Universe. I do use that service. Pretty new to me. Um, it's not new in general, but new to me. And I'm actually liking it so far, like, a ton. Um, I, I, yeah, it's, it's to me, for someone that's trying to learn more and more uh, about the DC Universe... Um, and past DC stuff, especially, um, going to be using it a lot in the beginning for my Friday show, Flashback Fridays, uh, coming soon to a YouTube near you. And, um, so I actually went looking for the collected edition of this series and it does exist. So I can technically include it here on my collected edition. Um, unfortunately... It was one, expensive, and two, going to take a while to get here. And since she did mention, Mars did mention what this was about in her um, in her interview with TM Nerdy, I really wanted to read it ASAP. So I did look on DC Infinite Universe and all six issues that would have been in the collected edition are available to read. Now, why did I pick this? Well, because... She mentioned Jason Todd. And if you've been watching my channel for some time, you know that Jason Todd is my comic book boyfriend. I love Jason Todd. So um, she also mentioned this in relation to a Batman video game. I don't really play video games. And when I say I don't really play video games, I don't play video games. I might in the future. In fact, I have every every intention of playing video games in the future. I have every intention of, with uh, a payday coming up, buying my own Xbox One controller and playing Injustice with my boyfriend and probably some other things once I get the bug to play video games. But it is, uh, the video game she was talking about is Arkham Knight and the collected edition, the collected series that she's talking about is a prequel to Arkham Knight called Arkham Knight Genesis, which is a retelling of the origin of Jason Todd. Because, spoiler, Jason Todd is the Arkham Knight. 
And it's not really like you're giving that much of a spoiler, actually, because it comes out pretty darn quick, like, in the comic series to tell you. In fact, Jason Todd is the Arkham Knight. Um, but yes, I was intrigued because I heard Jason Todd and I went, hmm. Jason Todd, you say? Hmm. So, I went ahead, found it on, uh, tried to find it on Amazon as a collected edition. And then when I couldn't do that very effectively, I found it as this, uh, um, individual issues on DC Universe Infinite. Infinite Universe, excuse me. My phone is making beepy noises if you just heard that. I do not know why. But it's here, and it's here beside me so that I can show you the cover of the sixth issue of Batman Arkham Knight Genesis. Now, this was wrote, written by Tomasi, um, art by Soy, and McKaig. Now, each of the covers was actually done by a different artist than who actually did the art inside of each of the issue. The art was actually done by, and this is something I put up on my Facebook page, um, that the art was actually done by someone by the name of, and I am going to butcher this so bad. Let me, I'm going to find the name so that maybe I could try to sound it out and not sound like so much of a jerk. Um, so, Stepan um, Sejic, we're going to go with that. I am sorry if you see this and I mispronounced your name. Let me tell you something, though. Despite the fact that I mispronounced your name, I absolutely love your work. One, the covers here on this, one of the good things about it, I'll tell you that right now, one of the good things about it. Um, if you recognize that name, if you looked it up, who did the cover art because of my horrible, uh, uh, mispron mispronunciation, you're like, okay, who actually did the cover art on Arkham Knight Genesis? Because, um, I feel like this might be important and you Google it, right? And you will find out that this person is also responsible for one of my favorite, uh, origin retellings. He did the art and... The uh, writing for Harleen. Harleen, that you will see back there in my bookcase. I really enjoy Harleen, and that is definitely a collected edition that is worth the read. Let me tell you, sidetrack, it's really good. Not only is the art absolutely beautiful, but the writing is chef kiss top-notch. Awesome. Awesome retelling of the origin of Harley Quinn. Anyways, back to the subject at hand. Batman Arkham Knight Genesis. It's six issues, okay? So, and honestly, these issues are a quick read. Really, really quick read, each of them. Um, and I did like the portability of having it on my phone on DC Universe Infinite. That was pretty cool. Um, so literally, I could basically, like, if I didn't want to sit out in the living room anymore, I could de definitely, like, lay in bed and, and, and read this thing. So, I imagine, I imagine if you were either A, already about ready to play this game, Arkham Knight, or B, had already played this game, Arkham Knight, you might find Batman Arkham Knight Genesis a little bit more entertaining than I did. Um, because it is a prequel to the game. Pure and simple, it ends on, you know, I would say cliffhanger, but it's a weak cliffhanger because it's really just like, you know, hey, you know, go, he's, uh, Jason is talking to, to Deathstroke and just giving him, you know, instruction on something to do and everything like that. And then, you know, he's just like, okay, so, you know, 
Um, but uh, keep doing what you're doing. And I am going to uh, finish up stuff in, in, in Gotham. And basically, that's the end. That's the end of the book. That's the end of the series. And, and I imagine it's one of those things where it's like, okay, you know, if you were about ready to start playing the game and you read Arkham Knight uh, Genesis, that would make more sense to you. It'd be more enjoyable. Um, but since I, A, have no intention of playing at this point, and, and B, um, have not played at this point this game, um, meh. That the ending was a little bit meh for me, um, in my taste. Um, it, it was one of those things where it's like, okay, here's the thing. This story is not completing, and now you have to go play this video game to complete the story. Which is all well and good. It's all well and good. It's just, <clears throat> do know that that's what you're getting into when you're getting into this series. Other than that, was it good? It was an easy read. Um, nothing too complex. We did have uh, jumps between past and present, and those are clearly um, differentiated between. Those are clearly marked. <coughs> so there was no confusion in the read. It was an easy read. Um, lots of, like, lots of trigger warnings here. Um... I don't want to get too much into it. I don't want to give too many spoilers because I definitely started this thing without giving too many spoilers or uh, without giving a spoiler warning. So, my bad. Um, so, I don't want to get into too many spoilers. But um, there's a lot of aspects, even though it is a retelling of Jason Todd's origins, um, there's a lot of it that the general idea still stays intact. So, you are dealing with the same general characters that were involved, uh, major players in the origin of Jason Todd, if you want to call the time period between Robin and Red Hood um, a secondary origin. Uh, it also kind of gets into the primary origin of Jason Todd right from the beginning um, and, and does tell those things in the idea of a flashback. Um, is it necessarily going to become one of my favorites over the years? No. Am I going to revisit again? No. Um, do I feel like I necessarily wasted my time reading it? No. I mean, like I said, the plus is about it. Quick read, easy to understand, and if you are interested in playing the video game or you have played the video game, might be entertaining for you in conjunction with the video game. But for me, it's meh. Um, of course, I love Jason Todd. I love the character of Jason Todd. Um, I will say that I do have two collected editions that, after reading this, made me want to push them up in my reading um, so I'm trying to decide I'm either going to do this one or this one next. Um, so we'll have to see. We'll have to see, um, we'll have to find out. Um, so anyways, uh, go ahead and, uh, um, let me know what you think in the comics, uh, comments. Let me know if you've read Batman Arkham Knight Genesis. Let me know, actually, if you've played the game and you've read this and if it fits together really well, I would love to know. Maybe that might entice me to play the game at some point. Um, but other than that, that has been Collected Edition Tuesdays. Thank you for joining me. This is the Officially Unofficial Geek Channel. You can find me, Carrie Quinn, <coughs> on Twitter at Carrie Q Author. And you can find us on Facebook with the Officially Unofficial Geek. <coughs> Please like, share, comment. Tell me what you thought of Batman Arkham Knight. Tell me, uh, Genesis, tell me what you thought of the game. If you played it, uh, try to convince me to play it. Um, 
and uh, check us out on our other um, shows this week. We have, of course, the Spoiler Tastic weekly, weekly Comic Roundup that usually happens on Sundays. We have, obviously, you're here for Collected Edition Tuesdays. We're going to have What's Happening Wednesdays, Flashback Fridays as well. This week in Flashback Friday, we're going to be talking about the first appearance in the comics of Peacemaker. Um, I have read it, and I'm going to tell you about it, and I'm going to tell you about the first appearance of Peacemaker. Um, and I'll be seeing you guys. So this has been the officially unofficial geek channel. I'm Carrie, and that's it, folks. Bye!